Good morning and happy Labor Day. We tracked some big storms across northeast Kansas last night. Now most of us quieting down still have a little bit of wet weather in our extreme southern communities south of I-35. Still seeing some showers there near Burlington, Gridley and Leroy arcing back south of Opie now in extreme southern sections of Lyon County. Sure was a bumpy night though. A lot of heavy rain, a lot of gusty winds. We were under that severe thunderstorm watch and also a couple severe thunderstorm warnings here in Topeka had winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. Same thing for Emporia back into Geary and Riley counties. Heavy rain as well. Take a look at these estimated rainfall rates. Some portions of Lyon County got three to four inches of rain. Emporia reported four inches of rain that arcs back into Morris County into southern sections of Osage County. Wherever you see the red and the orange on the map, that's three to four inches of rain. Here in Shawnee County, one to two inches fell, about an inch and a half for Topeka, two inches up toward Westmoreland, and about two inches for the Manhattan and Holton area. The same thing for Lawrence. Those storms now exiting. We will see some sunshine this afternoon, the atmosphere becoming more unstable. And with a cold front pressing into eastern Kansas, could see storms pop again, isolated. So if you have plans to go to the Barbecues, maybe the area lakes or to the swimming pools today. Don't cancel your plans, but if you can hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Get out of the water, pack up that picnic and head indoors. Best chance of severe weather will be down in southeast Kansas. Storm track meteorologist Kyle Borkett, he's in tonight and we'll be tracking that for you. 68 right now in Topeka. We have kind of a damp start out there, muggy. It's 65 in Manhattan, 65 in Junction City, 68 in Hiawatha, and it's 65 right now in Linden and Osage City. Here's our cold front pressing through Kansas. Could spark those storms later today. Another cold front will track in on Friday. Now, ahead of that cold front should heat up Wednesday and Thursday. How about mid-90s? But behind that front, we could track in some fall-like temperatures, maybe upper 70s, low 80s. This first weekend of September, that bodes well if you have tickets to the KU home opener Saturday night or the Chiefs home opener Sunday. They're taking on the Tennessee Titans at noon Sunday at Arrowhead. 88 degrees today, partly to mostly cloudy, maybe some isolated storms. If they get going, the best chance of severe weather will be to our south and east. 65 degrees tonight. And here's the seven day forecast. Tomorrow, 89 degrees, a 30% storm chance for Tuesday night, and then hot Wednesday and Thursday, tracking in mid 90s. And then as a stronger front comes in on Friday and Saturday, could see some more wet weather, but look at those temperatures really starting to drop off. Saturday, 82, Sunday, 80 degrees. And again, some models think we could be in the 70s. No need to be bored this Labor Day with so much going on in